So today we've got the best guests on. Oh, I'm so looking forward to our oh, chat. No, I'm looking forward to it so much. Their names are Reese and Sophie, and they run a TikTok page called Blind, Blind and, and Blonde, Blonde, which I have been loving for years personally. I remember when we started creating on TikTok back in 2020, they had their videos pop up on my FYP. And one of their videos that I was one of my personal faves that I have watched about 300 times. That's probably an exaggeration. But um, it's called The Day in the Life of My Blind Boyfriend Stereotype Edition. And Soph voiceovers it. So Soph is completely sighted and Reese is blind like me. So they're sort of like a mirrored version of our relationship. Yeah, it's so sweet. But they also talk to us about what other jobs they do outside of their social media profile and video making we really enjoyed this chat and we've actually got a group whatsapp being made after we turn off the cameras because we enjoyed their company so much via the airwaves we were like well we're always in westfield we have to meet up yeah we're just, we're in hysterics <laughs> it was so fun to just chat to some people that were just on our wavelength so yeah we can't wait for you guys to have a listen yeah we can't stay tuned Let's roll the intro. Roll the intro. This is But I'd Never Marry a Blind Woman. A show where we answer all the questions you are too afraid to ask about dating, marriage and finding love with a disability. I'm Lucy Edwards-Cave, presenter, author of my soon-to-be-published book, Blind Not Broken and blind wife of... Me, Ollie Edwards-Cave, her sighted husband and the man usually behind the camera. Each week on this podcast, we... Your fave interabled couple are debunking the stereotypes of dating with a disability, diving behind the inspiration porn headlines and unpacking your relationship dilemmas. So when people say, But I'd never marry a blind woman. You can answer. Well, I would. But I'd never marry a blind woman. Today we have the lovely Reese and Sophie Blind and Blonde. Hello. Hello, Hello. guys. <laughs> You're our first guests. Oh, it's so, so cool. Honest. So honoured. Honestly, <laughs> really excited. It's really to, cool to, to have you. Yeah, and we love to start. Well, I always love to start on other podcasts, but this is going to become a tradition of ours. Could you give us a bit of an audio description of both of you, like individually, and also a bit about what you do? Um, right. So, audio description. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm Reese. I am 28. Um, I do have an app which like tries to guess your age, and it always says that I look in my mid 30s, and I think that is offensive. Mm. And it so said, I'm... <laughs> it said that since you were about 21. As well, it, so it's pretty it, it really has. But I am 28. I can confirm. Um, I have uh, dark curly hair. Um, I've got a beard. Um, beard. Nice beard. <laughs> um, I've got brown eyes. Uh, I'm I'm pretty tall. I'm six one. Uh, no bragging. Just six one. <laughs> <laughs> just over six one. Um, and what am I wearing today? I actually so I have a um polo jumper with like vertical stripes and I can't remember the main color so is it's it navy navy with gray and green and orange stripes yes love that um love love a bright stripe love a bright colored top uh and I've got jeans on and and that's it that's me Sophie Cute. Oh, love it <laughs> so I'm Sophie I'm 27 mm-hmm. uh and I have long blonde very very curly hair my friends call me noodles my hair looks like super noodles um, <laughs> i have green eyes and i am wearing a brown although it was advertised as khaki on the website brown silky um top yeah nice. amazing thank you Love guys it. and tell us a bit about what you do uh, so I work in TV um, behind the scenes. Uh, so uh, I work in like entertainment, um, live events, quiz shows. Um, I've done stuff like Strictly and uh, Weakest Link and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's me. I also do a bit of like writing and stuff on the side. And obviously we have the TikTok channel and Instagram and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. And I work in a marketing agency doing website development and social media. And obviously also do the TikTok with Reese. So 
Yeah, oh, I love it. That's and incredible. That is so cool. I didn't know your back, like your backstory, because obviously I just see your TikToks because I'm yeah. obsessed with them. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, so talk to us about your TikTok then, because I'm we're gonna play a quick one now. This is a pinned one on the top of your profile, which I absolutely love. It's the stereotype edition of a day in the life of my blind boyfriend yeah. or husband now, <laughs> which we'll talk about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is so cute. Day in the life of my blind boyfriend stereotype edition. Reese smokes into a door. This morning I woke up like all blind people and bats do, hanging upside down from the ceiling. Reese has his head on the pillow, but his feet are on the ceiling. We got up and ready for the day. I wanted to try out my new perfume, but I think it confused Reese a little bit. Who the hell are you? Today was such an exciting day because we went Christmas shopping and Sophie took me to the blind equivalent of Disneyland, the candle aisle at TK Maxx. And for lunch, we treated ourselves to a roast at the pub. Reese cheers with the cutlery holder. When we got home, we played a game of Scrabble. Ugh, Sophie's so much better than me. Sophie's letters just say LOL. In the evening, we decided to get all Christmassy and put up our tree. Reese was in charge of decorations, and what a result! The decorations are a bunch of household These items, including dairy favorites. milk buttons and a potato peeler. And before bed, I wound down with a lovely, relaxing. Reese gets into the bath fully clothed and uses barbecue sauce as bubble bath. Favorite at the moment. It really reminds me of barbecues in summer. Would recommend. But how did it start? Tell us a bit about how your channel started. I think it was Sophie's uh, idea. Uh, she's she's a lot cooler than me, uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, she she was like actually watching TikTok, and yeah. I and I really wasn't. And I think it was lockdown, right? It was. It was yeah. It was lockdown. Um, extremely bored. Yeah. Yeah, on, I was on furlough as well. Mm. Um, and we, ju- I think we made a few videos before, but they were kind of just whatever. And then we made the stereotype one. Just we thought it was so hilarious. We were just falling over everywhere, laughing, doing it. <laughs> and then it went, and then it went viral. Like got like half a million. I love it. Yeah, that was yeah, that was mad. Yeah. Like and and yeah, I think the stereotype videos and that kind of series was definitely what we like that's what we based the channel around i guess yeah. like that kind of um you know showing the the funny side of blindness and all that kind of yeah, exactly. comedy stuff and like trying to show people that you know it's not this big scary thing it doesn't have to be this big scary thing and that you can be funny with it and all that kind of stuff and um and yeah, yeah. and i think I, I i don't think we ever really expected it to be to to be a thing that we do constantly it's just as no. you say when that video went went really well we were like let's keep doing it it's really really fun yeah we literally just did that because we thought we were hilarious for a, for a day <laughs> <laughs> no guys honestly i know you think that you're hilarious but i love it it's like me and my sister and ollie watch it and we're like that is so our humor honestly, isn't it all? Like, we're when cracking you, up laughing when you first discovered them because like lucy's the <laughs> serial tiktok browser out of the two of us like I had yeah. like for as much as it is our career, I basically don't watch TikTok. Yeah, not at as all. much. I'm, I'm very much a so, YouTube Shorts guy now. He's a YouTube yeah. Shorts guy. <laughs> but but back then, like, I just hear like Lucy like giggling and. And then, it was like, always you two. It was you two. It's just oh, like, these guys oh, are so it. funny. Honestly, I'm I'm buzzing. <laughs> I'm so buzzing to hear that. I mean, I think I remember when you followed us. Like, yeah, I was no, like, we did. We I think did I like. Did we scream? Yeah, I think we screamed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so cute. I love that. Like, I but know, also, such like, I see me and Ollie always because there's no real people out there you I feel like you two are just like the opposite of us of course I mean not yeah. not that we know you guys loads but like I think because we're mm. the same age Ollie's 27 I'm 28 and, and you're I'm like a with, mirror yeah you're a us. mirror of us yeah, and also we it's weird are. because when you said that your wedding was on the 1st September and ours was on the 31st I was like oh my gosh like we need to talk to them like, maybe <laughs> the excuse is the podcast yeah. but it's yeah. so similar but Talk to us about how you first met, because I'd love to know that story. Is it like a like a cringy story or an awkward yeah. story, or is it just like you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of everything, really. Yeah, it's a bit of all of that. Yeah, 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 all of the above. Um, yeah, so we met at uni. Um, we were in the same block, um, but not the same floor. So uh, on the first day, I think they they held like one of those really cringe like get to know everyone and like icebreaker um and it oh, was this always it fun. was like a pizza party and it was oh my god yeah and it was like it was like uh one floor like stand all around the edge of the room and then the other floor will come around like the inside and we'll do a bit of a speed date and it was like whilst you're holding a pizza just yeah a literally. Slice of pizza. <laughs> basically speed dating for, for like uni mates yeah it was and um and i remember i mean the thing was so 
I don't know about about you, Luke, but like when I went to uni, I was just such a like I was so different to how I was to how I am now. Like I was about ten percent as confident about being blind, and I, yeah. I don't think I don't even think I had my cane on me or anything. Didn't, which, I didn't know when yeah. I met you. I didn't know you were blind. See that that like literally, I don't oh. understand that now because I just I'd literally have it on me at all times yeah. now because it kind of gives yeah. me confidence. Mm. Whereas back then it was like the opposite. I was like, oh god, I don't want people to know. Do you know what I mean? And um, and so it just but it boggles my mind that when you met me, you didn't know. I know. Um, so wow. obviously I've got like 5% vision. So, um, you know, a, a tiny bit of like residual vision uh, left. And and obviously back then, I think I had a bit more and I would kind of try and use that as much as possible. But um, it would just get me into like the most stupid situations. I'd just be like walking into stuff and people would be like, why is that guy being so weird? They didn't know, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> he, he's had one drink too many. <laughs> yeah. Exactly this that. week has taken him by storm. <laughs> I love it. Exactly. So what in this, bl- right. Give me a bit of a... So with this blind date then, I'm going to get into the deets. So was it like you were sitting on a table, Reese, and Sophie came up to him? Or like, how was it? I'm imagining like a bell and then everyone being like, next, and you're having pizza in your mouth and it having going all over your face. (laughs) (laughs) It it was like a uni kitchen, the most like sort of student-y thing you can imagine. And people just stood round the edge and you just sort of had to make your way round and be like, I'm studying history. Oh, you're doing geography. Don't care about that. Um, (laughs) So, and then I got to Reese and I hadn't met anyone else who was doing history. He did history as well. And so I was so excited that I'd have a friend that I screamed into his face. <laughs> and I'm what surprised he ever wanted to be my friend. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was like, ah, so funny. But he, he had loads of people in his flat did history. So he didn't care that I did history, but I cared oh, yeah. so much. I mean, you, you seem like a fun person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and that, it, that's it though. Cause like, you know, we, we, we kind of made mates pretty quickly because we we liked the same kind of music and we wanted to go to the same like club nights and stuff so we 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 were friends for quite a while um and then it wasn't till the end of first year uh, about nine months in um that I uh that I asked you out I I mean I'm I made the move I really I I, I had fancied Sophie for a while uh and um, yeah like trying to keep it secret uh, which did not which did not last long (laughs) by that point Reese, did she know that you were blind Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that came. That was very, actually, very soon. So like, I mean, that was going to be even more impossible to hide than me fancying Sophie. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It was. Yeah. Oh, like, that was like. You must have known after like a week. Right? I think, yeah, I think I did because, like, you told some people. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, oh, you know, he's blind, and I was like, I had no idea. So yeah. it was like really natural to find out. It wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. like a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah mm. I just, I don't know, we were just friends, weren't we? Yeah. And it was, I don't know, it was all just supernatural, wasn't it? Like, being friends first just worked really well. And, like, we built up a, you know, a nice friendship and we really, like, trusted each other and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. It just worked really that, well, didn't it? That's you know so what, cute. guys? That's so refreshing because you always see, like, all online when people are online dating, like, do I put my blindness in my profile? Don't mm. I? All this, like, yeah. fetish porn with, like, disability. Yeah. I went there very early in the podcast. Yeah, but, you know, is, it's straight like, into like, it. <laughs> I, I just feel like so if you're you just seem like yeah he's blind like it's exactly like all oh, like it's not an issue to yeah. you like why would yeah. it be mm. it's mad though because i i feel like it's so rare like to to meet people like you guys that are just so instantly cool with it like you know yeah. what i mean i, I don't mm. know if you agree Luce, but yeah like it's just it's it's mm. so as you say it's so refreshing it's so cool and that's i think why we hit it off so quickly just because you so clearly didn't care. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I love that. Yeah. I agree. I don't, I think a lot of people see our disability before they chat to us and see us and it can be really hard going into a room. And I I think maybe that's why we have so much more confidence. Like when we have to display it or when I did get my guide dog Mm. or you did get out your long white cane. Like, I think that's why you have to be like, Mm. well, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> like, yeah, one hundred percent. A hundred percent. And there's like filter. nothing to hide. No, I was. I, I think exactly what Old just said. Like it is literally a filter. I view it now as like if someone is weird to me or someone's rude to me while I'm holding the cane, I'm like, well, I didn't want to know you anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like a pre-screening. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So <laughs> I love that. As a fellow sighty. Mm. what do you think <laughs> like do you think it's a thing where people like often talk to you instead of reese like or is it like do they talk to you equally like or and also when you have well when you don't have the cane do you notice a shift 
Um, people absolutely talk to me more, I'd say. Yeah. Um, we just went on honeymoon actually, and it's never been more obvious. Like, I don't think you got addressed once, did no. you? It was oh my god! Almost, they were almost being too polite. It was kind of a. It was. It wasn't them being like, "You don't matter." It was they were like. I'm so awkward about the fact you're disabled. I'm not going to acknowledge it so you don't feel bad about it. So they only spoke, ma'am, would you like some coffee? Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And like, would he like some too? Do you uh, know what yeah. I mean? It was that vibe. Yeah. And I, there is mm-hmm. nothing that annoys me more than that. Like, I'd rather someone was actively rude to my face than yeah. like, like, than just ignored me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. At the airport, they, was, they were searching you and they said, we need, does, does he have any heart problems? And, he, That's- and <laughs> Reese literally went, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. That's literally how they always talk to Lucy. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm, well, talk to yeah. you, babe. But like, as no, but as in like the <laughs> yes, talk to me uh, on behalf of you. But like we, whenever we go through, they're like, "Is it okay, sir, if we if we swab the guide dog?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's her. Yeah. It's her yeah. dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's not my dog, babe. It's hers. <laughs> <laughs> She's big enough why and ugly enough to talk for herself." <laughs> not that Ollie calls me okay, but you know what I mean. Like no, no, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think it's vile. I, I, my blood boils yeah. when I said. And also, you there on your honeymoon? You want a nice time, and then people are just yeah. talking to Soph. It's like, no, yeah. get a grip. Yeah. Where were you on your honeymoon? I'm a bit nosy. <laughs> uh, we were in Thailand. Yeah. Um, oh, very yeah. nice. And it was, it was amazing. Yeah. Aside yeah. from the, aside from the, um, the, the not being spoken to, um, <laughs> the the actual trip was was oh, wicked. Incredible. Like we had the best time. We did. So, we did. Yeah. 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 Not to give like bad rep to uh, <laughs> to the people of Thailand. <laughs> no, but equally, like I mean, it's the people of everywhere, right? But yeah, yeah, totally. this is this is. Mm. Don't you think like we have to almost take it on the chin that like most places mm. that we go, we have to have these like a ableist experiences but also be like mm. well if we just like put those ableist experiences aside like actually it was really lovely and yes yeah. we do view it like that because this is our every day but mm. if actually the world around us did change their perception um yeah i don't know i also think I, as well yeah. like having being in an interable couple i don't I think there's there's caveats to both. Like it's easier and it's harder in in mm. some ways. Like what what? How would you guys say that your kind of journey in talking to people and and talking about your love? Like so, for instance, like do people look at you or like say, oh, you're looking at Reese in like a really longing, lovely, loving way? Because a lot of people yeah. say the way that Ollie looks at you is just so lovely. Yeah. And I'm I, like, I, I think he's just looking of, at me. Like, do you get the? <laughs> But he's a hero or well in your case she's a hero it's it's yeah. wonderful like how can you be with them it's you're yeah. an angel for society <laughs> like, yeah, yeah yeah exactly so brave um go on so you say yeah it. i mean i think we we do get a lot that it's like she's so she's such a good wife for being for being with him mm. it's like when yeah. we posted a tiktok about his stag it was like, you've got some really good mates. Mm. And it was said like with sort of patronizing tones, like mm. they're good mates mm. for put, like taking you on your stags. Like they're mm. just his friends. Like, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I, I, I wonder though, if it's like a gendered thing, because we've talked about this before, Reese. there's di- different expectations of men and women in like hetero relationships, I think. And mm. I get things like, well, who's going to drive you around? Yes, And you it's do. like, well, me, do I have a license? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, actually. Because like, you know, we we never yeah. actually get asked that we question about like asked Lucy that. never gets asked who's going to drive you because there's an so yeah oh there's that gosh. assumption. I, that's what really else do you get? This is so interesting. What yeah, else do you this. get? What else do we get? Well, I've had I've had like oh how like you know how's he going to be the breadwinner? It's like well. <laughs> It's like, oh, the 1950s yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, know, oh wow. Yeah. It's just things that are typically like men protect strong. How mm. is he going to possibly do that if he can't see? How is he going to... What if someone breaks in? It's like stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, I don't but... think... I think it's... I, I wonder if there's an element of gender to that if you don't get that. Mm. We get none of those. Yeah, we don't Absolutely get those. None. But, we but get you, more you like... send me downstairs when you think there's someone breaking. I do. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I do. But you sent me downstairs one time with a hammer and Olga. No, like, what you, was going to happen? You, can I just say something? You put Olga first down the Olga stairs. Is a and I was like, what's siren. Olga? Was she like, barks at everything. Olga? No, anyway, that's a side note. Oh. But what I was going to say is, I, th- I think, honestly, we get like, um, he looks at you in such a loving way. What else do we mm. get, Ollie? They, 
There's um, the... Oh, children, a lot of children. Yes. Like, are you children going to be disabled? Like, why do you want children oh, with her? Oh, mm. we get that as well. Like, we've had that. Yeah, oh, it's like, are you sure, like, are you sure I'm the right kind of person to have kids with? Because what if, yeah. you know, what if there's a chance? Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, like yeah. it's the way that people think about these things so much more than we do. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's just, we don't yeah. care. And also, that's yeah. just, you're just assuming that every kid in the world is going to be two able-bodied parents is going to be able-bodied anyway like yeah, it just doesn't exactly. work like that anyway it's ridiculous yeah, it it's, it's, mm. it's tough as well because it's like you you touched on earlier lucy like if you we have to kind of put up with these ableist things and if we kind of kick off about it or say actually I, that makes me really uncomfortable or I'm, I'm not happy with that at all like we seem like we're being unreasonable or like we're yeah. being really kind of out of order or hostile do you know what i mean and it's like we, mm. it's, it, there is an element and we just have to put up with these things which i think is wrong do you know yeah. what i mean definitely it, it's it's an element of why we kind of started doing what we did mm. like because like some of our videos are how does a blind girl cook like mm. pour a glass of water yeah and like that shouldn't have go to. viral. Yeah. Like, yeah. people yeah. should know that. Yeah. Like, yeah. But it so does. Many, can I just say, though, there were so many builders collabing with that, going, ho, 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 and then, like... Yeah, hitting, I don't know like, what it was about builders. There were yeah, tons of them, all, all in their, like, orange... Yeah, really? all, in orange, all in orange uniforms, like, collabing me and then, like, pretending to pour the drink and then missing, and then his mate, like, what laughing is? in the background. It's ve- it's nah. honestly so weird, I mean, that corner of the internet. Have you ever builders, had build, builders stitches? <laughs> Do people stitch Um, your stereotype? But I always, I always think with yours, you're like very like with your Scrabble. It's like lol, you're blind. Like I absolutely (laughs) love to play. (laughs) Like you're taking the piss for everybody. Do you know what I mean? Do you get stitches? We uh, we've had a few, and it's like you said. I think it's the ones I find so frustrating is is where it's like the person is like. They'll, they'll take the joke that we've made in the video and then go, oh my God, like, I'm going to hell for laughing at this. Like, I'm so yeah. awful. Like, you know, or... Oh, um, God, skull emoji. Skull emoji. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Skull emoji. <laughs> Haunts my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, you're right. Just people taking it in the wrong way or, you know, not to stereotype, but teenage boys probably. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. like commenting just yeah. you know really horrible stuff you know and and or or uh, fake my favorite get about you know twenty fakes oh, for yeah. every every oh, video my that gosh. goes viral you might you guys must get yeah. that so much mm. um, like literally any video that goes viral the, the amount yeah. of people who come out of the woodwork and we're like yeah. where have you been like why are you accusing us also I don't yeah, know why yeah, I fake yeah. it so yeah. Yeah. why would you fake faking it, it? Mm, I just love so it. It's like odd. how how is he writing the comment though? Like he can't yeah. be blind. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like please get in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> my, like, like my guide dog is typing for me. Like, the, you know? <laughs> yeah, we need to just start trolling them back. Honestly, yeah. that's what we need to do. Yeah. We we did a TikTok um, quite early on in the day, like a couple of years ago, where we were like. Um, we're we're gonna show you how to use voiceover, like text, like a blind person, and so we showed people how to do it, and we got so many comments that were like, "Oh my god, I had to take my phone into Apple because it got stuck on voiceover." Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh, it was so good. We were literally howling at the other day because we yeah. were it. Oh my god! It's honestly my our favorite comments we've ever received. Yeah. <laughs> That is hilarious. I love that. It's so funny. Yeah, people get so stressed when voiceover is on. Oh yeah, like they accidentally turn it panic. on and then they panic. I was doing it's a talk so actually for Speakers for Schools the other day because I do mm. um, like a bit of pro bono for them. And I went mm. into this school in North Birmingham and like they were like, well, what's your net worth? I was like, well, mate, I don't even know <laughs> what my net worth is. And then he, and then he asked, the, the, oh no, yeah. And then, I was, and then the same kid, he went, uh, so how do you use your phone then? I just don't understand. So I got it out and it was like going at 100%. He was like, whoa, you're yeah. a cyborg. There were about like 60 <laughs> kids there. And they were so like, you could see their faces like, like kind of what? like, whoa, oh, 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 this is, <laughs> yeah, life is going that. so fast. Like, and then like as Lucy <laughs> yeah. slows it down. Like, do you feel like this, Sophie, when Reese slows the voiceover down, that your world just goes into slow motion? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I really hate it. <laughs> yeah. so true you know you know when you get like you know when there's a really slow um audio description voice on tv and it just puts you oh my in a really gosh. weird like, mo- yeah. <laughs> like yeah. yeah i agree also when the audio description doesn't describe like when there's a moment of silence and the, the audio description is just there chilling like yep 
I'm gonna put the two. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like you could funny. be describing in this moment. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, Ollie ad libs in between. He's like, well, she's wearing this shirt. Yeah, yeah, That's literally. Funny. I do. My favourite thing ever is when they like basically offend someone's appearance. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they... like a, a, a frumpy old lady. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> 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 Shade, pink lemonade. I, I've noticed they, they love the term heavy set. They yeah, do. They love that. They do. They're they like, do we're not going to call him fat. We're not going to call him big. No, he's heavy set. What is the most embarrassing story that you can possibly say? I know this is off the top of your heads because we didn't give you um, notes, but like, what's your most embarrassing thing that each other does? So, like, for me and Ollie, Ollie in his sleep he, he like chews really weirdly and wakes me up and then I, I chew really weirdly <laughs> well, yeah. and it wakes you up well we said that in the other podcast <laughs> and then also Ollie always says that I, he makes me a cup of tea and then he I leave like always the last half just because it gets too cold only like the top yeah. half of tea <gasps> literally tea everywhere so is there any like things that you can give inside a scoop of your relationship yeah, but there's so many I can't think what to say <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> go on what? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm so scared about what you're gonna what Re- you're gonna expose. Reese <laughs> does this thing where he claps his feet, but like his feet are so big they're like hands, and they cup each other like that, <laughs> like a flamenco cup, but for Love like. Yeah. And he just. How do you clap? So sorry. How do you I, clap I, I your feet? Like, I sound like the weirdest person in the world. So what ha- what what Sophie means is is I sometimes when I'm working I will lay on my front uh, on my laptop, which is which on is floor. on the floor or on the sofa. Uh, that doesn't and sound I, comfy. It, no, for some it's reason like it is. I, I think it's genetic. Like all of my family do it. Yeah, as they well. all sat on the floor. They have like seven sofas in their living room. They're all sat on the floor. Seven sofas. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. Um, and uh, <laughs> I don't know why the floor is comfy, man. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so my my legs will be stretched behind me. I'd say probably at a right angle, and then I will clap my feet behind me. And I don't know why. It's just I, it's been compared to a seal before. Yeah, it is very much a giving seal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But I'll, 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 walk in, I'll walk into a room and it, it'll, it'll, it'll just look like it's like, Dear Diary. It's like totally a creep. He's like tapping his feet behind his head. Oh my it gosh, I, I've diary. got the vision of this in my head. That's like, the most that is... amazing, embarrassing fact ever. <laughs> <laughs> if you, actually, I think our first ever video on TikTok is Reese clapping his feet working. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. So if you want to scroll back, feel free. Yeah. Oh, we we have to do it. that. That, that beats that you in the rain. Alice, can you put a clip in of Reese doing his, um, <laughs> fl- fl- we'll call it flamenco feet. Oh, my <laughs> horrible feet. Oh, my God. Okay. You're going to be on feet, Reese. you're going to be on feetpicks.com before you know it. <laughs> well, a new stream of income, maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and what about a sofa, Reese? Oh, God. I've been desperately trying to think this whole time in my head, and I'm, I don't know. What is yours? Can you give me some ideas for yourself? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you were saying this the other day. You were saying it, we were talking about this the other day. I know, but it's all empty by head. You're just so perfect. Um, oh. This is literally oh. the, like oh. my answer. <laughs> yeah. My um, it really annoys me that Sophie. So Sophie has a very specific like nighttime routine, uh, and um, you know she's got very curly hair, and she has to take care of it. Um, so she sleeps with like. Um, what's the pillow that you have? The... Yeah, it's like a silk pillow. So she has a silk, silk pillow. Oh, yeah, we've got them. She... Love it. Oh, fine. Okay, she has like a silk bonnet. She has like an eye mask. She has like, uh, you have the, the masks that you do before you go on. Um, yeah. There's uh, a particular... Um, the scent that I have to have the scent in the that I, the, One of the scents I find, I don't like it at all. So I, I find this quite... <laughs> like, the, something about the texture of the silk pillow thing, it, it puts me on edge. Like, the fact that my <laughs> one is not silk and yours is silk. Sorry, this is so boring. This is such a boring... No, no, no. No, no really the not. thing is, I know exactly what <laughs> you're talking <laughs> about. Because, like, when you... If you get a silk pillow and it's got, like, a tiny bit of fabric softener in it, it feels really rubbery. Yeah. Go- guys, yes. right. It's, it's really oh strange. God, what is wrong with you, pet? Right, okay, so I am so on board. I know. But you're giving Lucy ideas here, like... <laughs> no, can I just say, I, I love the silk pillowcase, I love the eye mat, like, that is me, that's giving, but also, Ollie 
is always like, well, I just can't even cuddle you. You've got so much shit on your face. Yes. <laughs> yes. So much, you've got yes. so much shit on your hair. Like, I just don't understand why it smells like like lavender oh, no, in here. No, cumin. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's always cumin. cumin. It's your weird oh skincare God. stuff. It just smells like cumin. He always says I'm like, why, like do, why does it smell like a Taco Bell? <laughs> But, Lucy, but then, <laughs> to be fair though, Lucy, like that is, you must get sent so much hair. You must have so much hair. You need to be using that. Like, yeah, you know I mean? Exactly. <laughs> I need to be putting my head in it in a bucket every single day. I'll be the amount of stuff. I have to give it to my besties because yeah, I wouldn't use it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I can't possibly use it all for one human. It's just too much. But, um, so funny. Oh, oh I love that. That's the embarrassing fact. That's so, yeah, that would, Ollie would complain about that as well. So, I, I definitely would. Like, <laughs> so talk, to, talk to us about your wedding then. How long were you engaged for? What was the proposal story like? And how long were you planning your wedding? So uh, I proposed in ooh, 2022, like yes. May. Yes. So oh, nice. So we, no, it was June. Oh, it was your birthday, yeah. Um, How did you not know that? <laughs> I, started, oh, okay. I, started, I started planning it in May. Um, yeah, I, I basically, I gave myself a really short window to, to prepare. So I um, we, we got back from a holiday and something about the holiday was just like, I don't know. I was like, this is, you know, why, why, am, I, why am I waiting anymore? This is the person I want to be here forever. I'm going to propose. Aww. And um, and I was like, I, I thought Sophie's birthday is in three weeks. I'm going to use that as the perfect cover because I'm going to be so weird and chaotic for the next three weeks that I need some kind of cover story. So I just pretended I was doing like some elaborate birthday um, plan for mm. Sophie when it was actually it. secretly engagement the whole time. So I was like, I was like, I, I met up with um, one of Sophie's best friends. I met up with with her in Hatton Garden, and, and she helped me pick a ring that Sophie would like, which was really cute. Um, and then I I uh, got a um, a company uh, involved uh, who came around. Basically, I planned a big day of stuff, and then while we were out having dinner, this company came around to our flat and like. Um, just it all up with like roses and candles and photos of us and stuff like that and um <laughs> so so then when we got home it was just all there like ready to propose uh which was, cute. it was cool it was i mean lovely. so it went mostly to plan um the thing i wasn't anticipating is that i got very ill on the day of the, <laughs> oh, the day oh no, no. Like, the most horrific flu you've ever seen in your life you're like tiny oh. tim but he was vibes. sweating and this yeah. is juice so oh gosh horrible. And, and like, you, Sophie, will you? <laughs> it was, oh, 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 it was literally that, like yeah. genuinely that. And then he uh, was like, "Pop the champagne." I'm going to save that champagne. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it wasn't. And like you know how well, every, everything is in place, so I can't even bail on this plan. I can't go. No, I'll do it next week because like everything's already set up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, mm. so, so we were there coming on the way back from the restaurant, coming home, um, and Sophie was like, "It's all right. Like when we get, out, like we'll get you straight to bed and like, and, and, like oh. get you done stuff." And I was like, "Nope, I've got to propose to you when we yeah. get home." Like, <laughs> just quickly take some tablets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what did, what did you actually like you obviously did it but like bless you we you, did you get down on one knee and then you felt like tiny tim yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i literally Aww, just had to kind of bless power you through. and uh and yeah as you That's say so like, sweet you know with the with the ill voice and everything but do you know what? it's a funny story looking back like at the at the time i was yeah. like oh god i feel really bad like but uh, but it is a funny story looking back on it so it's um, sweet and also <laughs> you did it like regardless of that i think that shows true i'm soppy it, like that it is well yeah. cute like, yeah <laughs> like if there's no well, bogeys on the ring it's all good <laughs> <laughs> oh ollie <laughs> <laughs> what an image um yeah i don't think there was i think we were all good yeah, we're all although good, yeah. didn't didn't i like forget to i didn't i forgot to put the ring on your you hand didn't put it, yeah you just sort of presented it i was like waiting like Hello. It was, it was. It was so funny. Like I felt so much pressure because obviously, like I've never actually seen anyone propose. Like even when I was mm. little, I don't think I had good enough sight to like see exactly what people were doing. So I had to kind of do practice runs with my mates, like beforehand, being like, "Okay, so do I kneel down with one knee, or I'm like, on both and, knees?" Yeah, but... <laughs> I love it. Like, do you know what I mean? So, that's okay. Yeah. That's even more lovely. <laughs> 
<laughs> so sweet. Um, so, and so and was, how was like wedding planning? Like, how did you did you both do to get like loads together? Did like, you did launch you go, straight into it? Yeah, or did we you did, just wait a bit? We did. Yeah, yeah like we by the end of June, we'd already gone up and viewed loads of venues. We we got married in York, which is the uni we went to. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we we were really quick on it, and we were engaged for what eighteen months, something like that. Yeah, it was quite mm-hmm. quick. Even yeah, even less, like fifteen. I fifteen. Think. Yeah. Yeah. And um, wow, it was. It was it was really fun actually, wasn't it? Like we, I think we did yeah. a lot of it together, um, and I think similar, you know, to you guys, I think there was quite a few things where we were like really wanting to be particular about, you know, what thing like the, the, the things like the non visual things. Yes, you know what definitely. I mean? Like, mm. um, you know, making sure that the videography was how we wanted it, or like the, the, that we had tons of lights and stuff to kind of, uh, you know, obviously like the, the bit that I the bit of vision I do have basically is like lights are my favorite thing in the world. Do you know what I mean? Like any kind of fluorescent yeah. lights, just give me all of yeah. those. So our, so our wedding was just absolutely. Um, yeah, like lit up all around. Um, oh, that's there was, cute. Yeah, it was not like we we um, we we had a venue stylist who kind of put all these fairy lights everywhere, and um, they put candles like lining the aisle, which was really really cool because I could see I, I could kind of I knew what direction that Sophie was coming down. Do you know what I mean when she was walking down the aisle? Mm. But it was so funny because the guests apparently were just absolutely freaking out because Sophie's dress nearly caught fire about four times. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, my dress was quite similar to yours, Lucy, in that it was like quite tooly at the bottom, you know, like oh, the big nice. skirt. Yeah, and, cute. Yeah. And in the wedding video, it is quite actually quite embarrassing because I'm just like, yes, I've just got married. Like walking down the aisle, and everyone's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fire! I love the fact I love the fact that you both like didn't care though. It was like no. no. Just, stop, yeah. drop it, stop drop and roll <laughs> yeah. someone can stamp exactly. on it if it catches yeah exactly well, yeah, you exactly. know what's a bit of fire you know it's all fine i love um, that did you, did you have like a light in your bouquet so yeah we had um, yeah. fairy lights put in the bouquet mm. which was that your idea I don't know. I think all the florists idea. Maybe I can't remember. Oh, maybe it was. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When we went to the florist, they were very focused on like scent. Mm. Yeah. Um, which, which you is didn't. Cool. Which is cool. Yeah. But you were more into the lights. Yeah. 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 So then mm. they came up with the idea of putting them, in, and it looked amazing. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. But so yeah. That's really interesting, actually, because like it's the difference. Because like you, Reese and Luce, are both blind, but like because mm. you've got different sort of types of blindness yeah yeah it's interesting how like you adapted your wedding like the things that were personally to you yeah it's interesting isn't it? yeah well that's what i love so much about you guys' wedding like yeah, watching it i've watched that video so many times like it's just so lovely you know the way oh. that all the all the stuff you did which made it so like personal to you guys yeah. it's just so cool and yeah, yeah. i think that's what we were kind of trying to go for as well in Absolutely, our yeah. different way yeah oh definitely it's so individual isn't it and i love it totally. i think I, I yeah, I love that we got married like yeah, literally, literally a, a day, day apart. apart. It's That's so mental. How are we like mirroring each other like this? It's so creepy. I know. <laughs> I know. So We're sweet, like, have, though. have you seen like us, the Jordan Peele film, where there's like people underground that are like mirroring the other people? I feel like we're basically yeah. the other yeah. like, the twins of each other. Oh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> no, but we that haven't seen really it cool. yet. But, oh my god, I would recommend. It's, it's amazing. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. love yeah. it. Anyway, oh, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean. I just I, I think I love hearing about other people's weddings and how special it was but like how's mm. married life now like do you feel that the dynamics change the dynamics change or do you just feel like it, me and Ollie are just like we've been a married couple basically for 10 years mm. anyway so we ba- we basically feel the same I guess don't we yeah like, I think it's the way other people see you like I think both of our families see us as it's more serious now they're more serious about things yeah now that mm. we're married but like we don't really feel any different we've lived together for a long time yeah so mm. um yeah we were engaged for a lot of that time so we've always sort of felt married i guess yeah but it is yeah. nice to have the ring and like be like my that- husband it feels we always say like girlfriend boyfriend to us now when we hear like uh, stereotype my blind boyfriend like that like, feels like, gross uh, to us now. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And it is that yeah. weird thing because like yeah boyfriend and girlfriend is kind of like because it's like on TikTok, it's the younger generation. So they're yeah. more likely to be searching for boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. But you're like, no, I'm, I'm I, not that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. we're more than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. So I, I, th- I think that. And I think as well, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we're probably younger than average getting married. I don't know, like I don't have yeah. loads of married friends. No. And I feel like sometimes yeah. you think people view you a little bit differently for being like 
a younger married yeah. couple. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, mm. our friends keep referring to us as mom and dad. I hate that. I I hate oh my gosh. <laughs> It makes me feel ancient. It makes me feel as old as that app does that tells me I'm oh. 35. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's actually just showing your true self. Yeah. Oh, I love it's it. It's just a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys tried yeah. that, by the way? Have you got, have you done No, I have, I have not we tried did, that. Yes, we did. We the, did it as the, the blind fiance. AI video. Uh, no, that wasn't an app that told us how old we were, though. That's just like a one where you take a picture and it describes it. Oh, that is that is the same one, I think. Yeah, yeah that would be yeah. the same uh, one. It's been my yeah. It's so cute. But we haven't done it with like ChatGPT. I think yeah. we've we yet get, to do it like, with uh, Yeah. But I think. Oh, um, yeah. ChatGPT is pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's. It, uh, me and Ollie love a bit of AI, don't we, babe? Oh, it's far so too much. Like, I mean, it's an absolute <laughs> I, I have, game changer. I use it for it games. Is. Yeah, visions same. of like you know like when the the, the robot overlords take over and like the terminators <laughs> yeah. wandering uh, all over the place I but i don't like, know if that is an actual like when they take over darling i think it's when but i think that the the terminators are gonna love blind people they're gonna be like okay, shooting everyone and they're gonna right. be like oh no white cane like yeah he's fine they, like, yeah. Be like, they, appre- they appreciated us from day one yeah. like, like nobody else did <laughs> Maybe that's true. It Very <laughs> true. It's but yeah, maybe that's why. <laughs> I um I was saying I was saying to Ollie the other day, we did a podcast all about periods, and I know that maybe you guys, I don't know, maybe or don't chat about periods a lot, but for us, oh, because no, we we're talking yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> literally it's yeah, mood swings, different stuff. Being a girl, it's really hard. Mm. But being a blind girl, I always find that like Ollie does have to tell me when I'm on my period and different like aspects of our relationship do kind of tip into obviously like the carer role and I just wondered mm. whether for you Soph as well like both of your perspective but for you Soph is there it, do you have that distinction like when you feel more of like a caring role or does it all interweave into one in your relationship yeah that, that's really interesting I think it does just interweave um but I don't know I do have to sometimes tell you things yeah. I don't know, like if I need to puff his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. Like, like EG, I, I, EG five minutes before we yeah. on this. On and this like, call. I guess that's all that because <laughs> it's kind of that I know that he can't see that for himself, so I will tell him. But if he could see that for himself, I wouldn't. I'd just let him kind of make that decision. So I kind of have to sometimes make, yeah. I guess, decisions. Yeah. I'm yeah. on behalf of us both, but I mean, that's a stupid the, example, but you know what I mean. No, the it's a lovely that, example. You. The big thing that jumps to mind for me is is even just um, as we said, you know, we got back from our honeymoon last week, and and I think while we, I think when you're abroad together or in a bit of like a stressful situation, I feel like that's when it can you can sometimes feel like more a lot more disabled. Do you know what I mean? So like yeah. Yeah. I feel like for example, like when we're in the middle of you know Bangkok with two suitcases, like trying to find our way around, and you are literally trying to not only find where we're going, but also guide me around yeah. loads of people and loads mm. of obstacles. Like that is a very stressful situation. Like you do really well in that situation, but I also feel very helpless. Like, there's nothing I can really do in that situation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I guess that's where it maybe um, in that's where it maybe goes into that role a bit. More. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I I definitely agree I there because that. like that's. Mm. Like I'd say one of our sort of flashpoints. Like when we're... <laughs> well, we might get a bit angry. At <laughs> yes, <each> yeah. <laughs> like, because, I'm like, so glad you said that. Particularly, yeah. like if if I'm like trying to translate en route and it's like, oh god, where's the exit? And then like airports like, at the best of times. Where so, like, are we, Ollie? I just yeah. don't understand where we are. You're like, like describe just... it, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like where the hell? I have no this idea. Is me. This is me as well. I'm like, I don't know. I will tell you what I know. Yeah. Yes, oh but don't god. you have Google Maps? Just don't you have eyes? on the back of your head like, oh my god yeah. i just That's don't understand yeah we got so stressed out when we went to san francisco airport and like because oh. it's multi-layered and it was like where's the taxi and it, it was three layers above us but like she was like get google maps up and i was like it says it's here it's like yes. it should be like next to us it was above us <laughs> unbeknownst to us chaos so yeah i don't know about you lucy but my toxic trait is uh i will never I'll never assume that Sophie is just paying attention but being quiet. I'll always think that she's just stopped paying attention and is looking at her phone. So I'll go, Sophie, Sophie, why are you ignoring me? Like, literally, like, and I'll just that... constantly interrupt her. Like, she'll be like, I'm literally looking at you. Yeah, I'm looking for you to speak. My phone is charged in the bedroom. Like, full attention. 
<laughs> that, is, me. that is literally Lucy. That has happened to today. <laughs> <laughs> You were getting so mad at me. You were like, Ollie, why are you not paying attention? And I was like, I, I, I am. We just fil- like- okay, we were filming a Get Ready With Me and me and Alice were like, do you, you know, she was getting something and she was like, Lisa, I just don't know where your eyeliner um, sharpener is. Anyway, this is too much detail. And I was like, Ollie, where did we put the sharpener? Like you put, you sharpened it last time. Like you were helping me. Where is it? Oh, I just don't know. I'm drop boxing something. To and I'm like, Ollie, you're just not... <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm looking at you. I just stop it. <laughs> oh, this is yes. so good to hear. It's the same. I'm, I'm so glad to hear that. I feel, I feel um, validated now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so um, it doesn't make you, you feel know, as you know mad, does it? Exactly, exactly. I love it. Um, this is what I realised so much when we went to... Um, have you guys been to Don Le Noir, the, the restaurant in London? Like, we yeah. almost dark. did. So, well, no, so we went and I and obviously it's completely in the dark and I was just, you know, obviously it's so fine. I he was, was just like, chill. Place. And I felt amazing. <laughs> yeah. um, I was like, they had to drag me out there kicking and screaming. I was just like... <laughs> um, but uh, no, so um, I, I finally realised like all the annoying things I do because Sophie started doing them to me like in the, because she couldn't yeah. see. And I was like, oh yeah, I do do that a lot. Like I do ask you <laughs> questions when like yeah. over and over again. Do you know what I mean? And just because uh, it was completely roles reversed. Yeah, it was really, really interesting. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so Ollie had the exactly the same reaction when we went to, um, it's called Dialogue in the Dark and it was this pop-up. Uh, yeah. I won't say what's completely it in, in it, but Ollie it had to use a long white cane. He had to use a long oh. white cane, and he was he was really scared. And basically, we were on this path. And he had to do different activities in it, and he was literally shuffling. Like I was <laughs> off in front of him, and he was like, Lucy, 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 help me, Lucy. I was like, Oh my god, stop moaning, just walk. Yeah, I was like, I was like, Where are you? And then like like the one clue I will give you is that it's huge, yeah, and like I huge. could just hear Lucy go, Ollie, I'm here, like from <laughs> way like, in the. Distance. Distance. and I'm like he was shitting himself it was so there's funny there's me like just feeling around like you know that oh, really stereotype God. of like Velma when she's like looking for her yeah. glasses <laughs> that was <laughs> me <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was literally oh, but I love, I love it because uh, Reese, I really resonated when you said they couldn't get me out of there like, I literally just wanted to stay in there I was like if yeah. life was like this then I would be okay <laughs> like literally. I felt so amazing in there yeah, yeah. oh I know but, I know exactly yeah. whereas I, I was like really scared of the food I was like I don't know what it is Reese, I don't know what it is <laughs> What yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We also had different menus because I'm vegetarian and Reese isn't. Mm. So I had the oh. ve- I think I had the vegan menu. So we could I couldn't go. What is it? And, like he try it first. He was like, just touch it. And I was like, ah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so. <laughs> So That'd be Ollie. He'd be like, "I've got stuff on my face." That, 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 yeah, that yeah, literally yeah. was it. So like, we had that when we went to a guide dogs event, like back in like and 2014, they and they blindfolded Ollie. us. Yeah, and like Alice was there as well, and. <laughs> I was like, Alice, what's this? And she was like, that's an asparagus. I couldn't, I couldn't, to- by, by the end of it, I'd answered so many questions. I couldn't tolerate them both. So I was just like, talk be- between yourselves because that I just don't. So yeah, you came out. up, you checked out. Yeah. I was like, this is meant to be your gig. Like, you're. I was chatting to the people on the table, okay? That's so funny. How, Ollie, how did you find being blindfolded at the wedding? Like, because that was, oh that was only for a bit, right? But, like, yeah, yeah, I was really like trying to listen, like with every mm. bit, core of my being. I was like, can I hear footsteps? Can I hear footsteps? <laughs> I was like, can I hear like something creaking? Like maybe the girls talking, but they're all like silent. The only yeah. clue I had that anyone was sort of coming, apart from like the music playing and the audio description and the audio description. Oh, I but love that. It was like like yeah. for location wise though, it was Molly yeah, with their little with bells. Their little bells. Oh. It's really cute. I oh, know. And then so I had her jingling along. And then my dress as well, which was cute. And then yeah, yeah I don't know. I think in that moment, because you're one with the music, it was really mm. lovely. But yeah. I don't want I don't want to talk for you all. So, oh no, no. Yeah. It was it was basically that. It was like just getting absorbed in the music. Yeah. Yeah. Like sort of yeah. knowing that things were going on, but like sort of like kind of not being aware of them, but being aware of them through the audio description. And then Lucy suddenly just appearing and then like grasping my hand. I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, she's here. Oh, it's really cute. So nice. it, was, it was so Love emotional. That. It sounds yeah. it. It sounds amazing. Yeah, it was really cute. But um, no, our Don's Lenoir story is that we went into, we tried, we got a voucher from our best friends, Jamie and Sharba. Yeah. And uh, they... We called them up to like, we them we're up in to... London anyway, like we were in Westfield just chilling out. Yeah. And then we called them up. We were like, let's book a table. And we're like, oh yeah, we've got a guide dog with us. Because like, are there 
previous premises, they like they have loads of blind waiters there, don't they? Yeah. So you think yeah. like you, you think, think oh yeah, blind waiters that. like they'd they'd need to bring their guide dogs in to actually get to work yeah. or yeah. something. But like apparently that is not the There's case. No and they, guide like, dog they don't have any, Yeah, they don't have any provisions wow. so anymore. They just, so they, yeah, so they just said, look, like could you just put her in the bar? No. I was like, you mean in the bar? Where no. they were like, well, in the disabled in toilet. The disa- well, they first said the disabled toilet, but then they said, well, you could just put her on the bar. And I was like, you mean for people to steal her just there? Yeah, there's no one to really look no, after her. Nice. I was like, no. Yeah. And then, like, the disabled oh, yeah. toilet suggestion was like a whole nother level, though. It's like, imagine That's like insane. you needed a wee. And then, like, you just <laughs> open the door and there's just a dog. <laughs> and there's a dog. <laughs> there's a dog. <laughs> Obsessed with that. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really surprised by that. I mean, you know, your literal gimmick is is uh, is dining yes. blind. Yeah, so. and blind yeah. waiters are waiters. Like, what? But again, it doesn't yeah. surprise me. It literally. Doesn't yeah, me. yeah, literally. Nothing you just can say. Size, yeah. isn't it? Should we do? Should we do the dilemma now, everybody? Should you we want, go on to the next part of the? the you part? want to do the dilemma? Yeah. <laughs> this one's very relevant, actually. Okay. So, I'm a sighted person, and he's legally blind. We're both 25. I have no understanding of what his level of eyesight is. He's tried to explain it to me a couple of times, but I still can't mentally picture what his experience is. He needs a cane when walking, but he can read text without a screen reader. He uses audio descriptions on movies, but he also owns a Nintendo Switch. That leaves me so clueless, which is okay. I don't need to understand, but I also want to know what sort of things I can share with him. I don't want to treat him like he's helpless, but I don't want to make any dumb mistakes either. My plan so far is just to share things like I normally would and let him tell me what his limits are. Any thoughts so far on this guy? Um, well, yeah, I, li- I like th- what she's saying slash he. I he think she's she discovering saying. like the uh, sort of spectrum of blindness. Yeah. What yeah, do you that's guys it, think? It? Yeah. I, Interesting. I would say um, I feel like the, the main thing that's crying out is like, Please talk to each other. Yeah, <laughs> Please yes. communicate. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, because it's that, you're exactly right. It's the, it's the kind of spectrum of blindness. And I get that would be really confusing for someone if you don't know any blind or visually impaired people. It's like, how mm. does he play a video game, but he can't walk to the station? Do you know what I mean? So like, I, I totally get that. So I think it is literally, it's it's communication, isn't it? Just like we, all the we, way. Were you ever confused, Soph, about what Reese could see like have you had that discussion yourselves I think I've just kind of like learned as we've gone but there have been times mm. where he's been like I really like the color of this and I'm like I'm sorry what I don't understand <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you can't like there's other things that he just obviously cannot see and then he'll just mm. come out with something like oh, I really like that that whatever and I'm like wow because mm. it, yeah. it is such a spectrum so even or- now I still like I I get what she's saying there like I can't I can't personally envision what Reese sees. I understand mm. what he needs, mm. but I can't envision it because I don't think anyone ca- can. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can you describe I, it, Reese? I think so. So it kind of changes um, day to day because I get these like horrible lights, basically. So, well, so, um, so essentially, my dad always described it as like, um, uh, it's like a, puzzle where like loads of the pieces aren't filled in and they keep like moving around essentially so I only have a tiny little section that I can see at any time and I can kind of move that around you know what I mean um Mm. that's that's in one eye um and then the other eye is is a lot of the time obscured by a lot of like fuzzy lights so you know like Mm. um like tv static or whatever it's kind of like that um so and and it kind of changes from day to day like some days I'll have quite you know it will feel quite clear um and then other days it will feel really blurry and I just can't see anything and I basically just turn off my eyes mm, um, see that gets me Rose goes oh I turned off my eyes then so I didn't look I'm like, what do you turn your eyes off you mean shut them like, physically turn them off can you not do that no what <laughs> that's amazing I, just like tell the brain to stop I paying know attention what you, mean. I, yeah. I, you know what I know what you mean it's really weird. I, like, if you don't I, think about it, it's just gone. Yes, that totally. That's so straight. Is it like the thing when, like, you're listening to, I don't know, a fan or something and you just forget the fan is, exists? Almost like and, white like, noise, yeah, and then you just blur it out. Yeah, yeah. I think that's maybe. A really good, yeah, I think that's, that's a really good, uh, like, comparison. Because, yeah, I think I do it mostly if I'm, if I'm using my laptop, for example, like, for work. I will literally just, you know, I can't see anything on the screen, so I just you know turn my eyes off you know what I mean like I'm not using my eyes for anything and uh whereas like if um 
if I'm really trying to look at, so, you know, if there's like a piece of art on the wall and it's really bright and I might be able to stand a hope yeah. of seeing something in it, you know, like I'll, I'll try and <laughs> use my eyes. Do you know what I mean? But I think yeah. most of the time I don't. Mm. Um, cause, cause as I say, like, I mean, with the level of vision I do have, there's very little I can kind of, I, 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 I can see stuff in, I can see really big things, but not in good detail. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I always say like, I can see where I might be able to see where a car is, but I can't read I can't read the number plate or I can't see any kind of details about it or you know what I mean but I might be able to see that, where the car physically is do you know what I mean that's so it yeah like and movement I don't know about you Reese. like when I first went blind and was registered blind like around mm. 10 years ago mm. I it sounds very similar like f- you're like for the, me as well the t-rexes in jurassic park stand still and they can't see you well yeah <laughs> and i just felt like movement for me was pretty yeah blurry blobs but like no detail it's so interesting yeah 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 100 yeah. yeah. it's it's I, I think that's the thing is it's, it's something that's so hard to describe to people because obviously, you know, like I've never had full sight, you know, this is always yeah, what true. I've seen. Um, and, and, and if anything, I mean, I did have, I had, it's, it's a deteriorating condition. So I did have better sight when I was younger. Um, and it's got, you know, a bit worse over the last few years, but again, it, it gets worse so gradually that I don't ever really notice it. Like I don't use my eyes enough anymore to notice it getting worse. Um, if that makes totally sense. Totally agree. Yeah, yeah. That's how I can't, yeah, I know what you mean. Your brain just kind of filters it out. Have you got retinitis pigment dosa? Yes. Yeah. 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 Thought so. It's very similar to my condition. No, no. I have in- something called incontinenti pigmenti, but it presents itself a lot I like, like diab. Yeah. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's still a retinal detachment like disorder right. but mm. yeah it's it's it presents itself a lot like diabetic retinopathy where like the blood vessels in the backs of your eye burst but um oh. like i get a lot of the same as you like tv static and this that the other yeah. but i always say to ollie like i tried to describe my vision to him one day and it, i was like it's like pluto in coca-cola and then like with a <laughs> bunch of like lights over it <laughs> with a bunch of lights like- in with a bunch of lights in it <laughs> That is, I mean, that's a pretty good description, I'd say. Is, um, <laughs> I'm assuming Pluto the planet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Not not, the imagine you're just looking at Pluto the <laughs> oh dog God, all the could time. You imagine? <laughs> 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 yeah, I always say, like, I, I, I presume that, like, all of the, I know this sounds a bit graphic, like, turn off your ears, guys, if you don't want to hear this, but it's like all the little craters in Pluto, like, I feel like they're like the dead cells that I'm seeing or something. I don't know, my dead retina. Mm. I, I think I've been so. told that's what my lights are as well. It's like uh, some kind of dying, dying, dying retina cells. thing. I know, which sounds dying so great. Star. But- yeah. Oh, that's nice. That makes it sound nice. I like that. <laughs> Dying stars. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, what else about the dilemma, Ollie? Oh, Is there okay. Else? So I tried to search for an author that I liked, but I couldn't focus on the names at all. I took, and now this is in italics, I took a blind person on a date to a bookstore. Yeah, and what? <laughs> A bookstore. I, I just she, she, need, she needs to ask why, like what kind of yeah. vision they have, or like take an app. It doesn't matter that you took a blind person to a bookshop. That's the it's most quite mortifying interesting. Thing. She felt so mortified. I don't know why people... she kept apologising. There's nothing worse than when you can tell how unbelievably awkward someone feels. About like some, that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like especially. And like, you know, you must get this loose. Like the amount of people on a daily basis where you're like, oh my God, my presence makes you so uncomfortable. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to make you feel more comfortable. And it's like, you know, and, and I feel like people's awkwardness like radiates off them. And I feel like the idea of someone apologizing loads because they've taken mm. you to the books, it's like, chill out, mate. Come yeah. on. Like, it's yeah. Fine. yeah. Let's go to the audience. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. There's, there's yeah. loads. Like, read me some blurbs. Like, yeah. let's find out. Yeah. yeah. Like, Maybe I'll just take braille, the you never know. exactly. I'll take the cover. I'll scan it with my phone. Like, just yeah. chill the f- out. <laughs> yeah. like, I can't. <laughs> oh, agree. Also, like, chill the f- out. <laughs> that is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Four word answer. It's, it's true. Like, it's just. It's too irritating to like beat around the bush. And also, I just think I've been blind for so long now. The amount of times that I've been in these awkward situations, I just think I I do feel sorry for the person. And I feel like, yeah, the world around us is the thing that needs to be fixed. And 
Yes. But I just also they might have never had experience of disability, but there's only so much tolerance like one human can have. To, like, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and if that's like the fifth time this week that that's happened to you, like you can only put up with it for so long. Do you know what I mean? That's mm. until, that's until... It. he went along with it. He, like she was suggesting ideas and he went, yeah, let's go to the bookstore. It wasn't like. That's well, fine. Yeah, if that's then, the, what's the if, if, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If that's something, is that if that is the um, decision that he's made, then he's obviously like, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, you know, I much well, prefer being with you, and it's lovely yeah. when I love it when you enjoy something like we do things, Ollie. That you know, I went to a light show with you. Like, I'm not going to bloody see a light yeah. show, am I? But no. I was with you, so you got me hot chocolate, and that was I was happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and the amount of times that you've come to see a film that you're just like, why am I yet again seeing another action film? I just fell asleep. <laughs> Like Lee, 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 hate, Lee hates Lord of the Rings. She doesn't do. like like anything historical. Yeah, uh, do you, Reese? Like, I feel like it's because they don't audio describe it quick enough, and I'm like, I just lose track mm. of who's punching who. It's just not not. Yeah, me. any anything action. I remember going to see. I think it was like Guardians of the Galaxy or something, and I was like, this is the most boring thing I've ever seen. Like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's yeah, no joy in action. Yeah. Yeah, um, it has reminded me. Of... <laughs> yeah, it is. There's no joy in action. <laughs> I love it. It has reminded me of me though of our first time that we ever like sort of watched a movie together properly was Captain America. Oh, I hated that film. No, but like, because <laughs> we, we we had a copy of like I don't know somewhere, and we were watching it on a laptop on the train. And it didn't have audio description. So like literally mm. every like 20 seconds, I'd pause it yeah. and I'd go, this is happening, this is happening, this is yeah. happening, this is happening. Yeah. And then, then we'd it's resume 20 total seconds later. brain overload, you know? Yeah. It's like... I, I don't be... even bother when, when something doesn't no, have AD anymore. We no longer watch it because mm. it's yeah. so annoying. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. Like we'll eat... We're one of those couples that eat dinner with the TV on. Mm. And mm. I'll be trying to eat and there's no audio description. I'm like, oh yeah, so she walked into the room and it's just so yeah, annoying. It's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I can't like go on my phone because I get outed. Yeah. If I reset, what happened? I'm like, um. <laughs> I know exactly yeah. what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> L- Lucy, oh my gosh, the amount of times like so, me and Lucy have completely different tastes in YouTube, like really different tastes. She's always watching some sort of like vlogger or something. I need I'm, to know what their outfit I'm, looks like. I'm watching something yeah. about like languages or ancient Rome. Because I'm like, I'm Ollie, have they got a filter on? Have they done this? What's their What's their makeup look like? Like, do do, do I have that type of makeup? Like, yeah. what's that trend? And you like, like show me it, and you're like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you expect I'm watching the whole time. Like you turn to me and you're like, "Oh yeah, but like you enjoying this?" I'm like, I, "I have not been watching for the past 15 minutes. I do not care." And I'm like, I have to sit him down to watch stories. So I'm like, "Ollie, this is your job. Like, you have you and Alice are me on stories. Like, watch these yeah, creators." Yeah. Okay, but I have to. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> it's so dull. And That's like, so just, funny. Whereas I love it. I, yeah, we're we're probably quite lucky in that we we tend to we tend to like watching the same stuff. The, the crossover yeah. is quite big for us. There's a few things oh, that I'm good. like, no, like you go a bit far on like historical documentaries. Yes, absolutely and, love it. And oh, and I feel same. like our 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 trash TV goes a bit. Like you watch like dating shows that I don't. I mean, I love you know, like I like your your standard ones like you're married at first sight and stuff. But then you go a bit mm. hardcore onto like other yeah, ones. I'll watch like Mar- uh, Love Is Blind Japan. Love is Blind. Oh, <laughs> same, I love Love Is Blind. <laughs> like, it's amazing. It's so False, you literally binge it. I, I thought it was going to be really good for blind. I thought it was going to be like a really uh, yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what, why is Love is Blind not accessible? Yeah. Well, it and is. Like, it's all described, but it's not as accessible as you think. And really. then the big I moment know. is like when they see each other, and we're like, yeah. oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Like, yeah, it's I know. I Stereotypical, but it's trash and I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't know whether you guys find this, but Ollie, we first. Uh, one of the first series we watched together was Dexter and it oh, wasn't yeah. audio described I described, and he audio mm. described 10 seasons to me that was obviously like when we were young and in love now he's like yeah. fuck it we need audio description but do you feel like <laughs> you just Sophie described more stuff to Reese when you were like in, the, in the throes of love that's what I feel like we did <laughs> Literally, that's what we did with Game of Thrones. Yes, and I, I yeah, yeah. I, I am so afraid of Game of Thrones because yeah. like it's so violent. And respect, what's happening? Yeah. Like, I don't want to look, and I have to look <laughs> like someone's skin being taken off. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh gosh! Oh, no. That's what Dexter was. Like, he was like, there's someone being killed. Yeah. 
But the thing is, I'd have to censor it as well because Lucy doesn't. Lucy is terrified of, of, of the word blood. Well, you don't say it. See, like that, so, like watching a show about a serial killer. I love yeah. it. No, but yeah. that's the only reason I can watch them now because I can't see them. You know. Mm. Like, so. but like, I'd have to that's say, oh so yeah, the ketchup true. is pouring out his neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you're funny. so right though, because the amount of things where I'm like, why are you leaving the room? Like, it's fine. Like, because if, if something doesn't sound very like gruesome, Glory. I'll be like, well, it's yeah. what? Yeah, you're being so squeamish. Like, get over it. Whereas and I'm like, like, like <laughs> 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 Ned Stark's about to be beheaded. I'm like, ah! Spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry. But it's so, <laughs> that is so funny because I always go, Ollie, you're being so dramatic. Like, I just don't yeah. understand. This is what Reese does. This is what Reese does. I have to humbly remind him he cannot see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or if we're in the car, actually, I do have a go, Ollie. If he emergency brakes, which is c- constant. No, so how many brake not... pads have we had changed, Oliver, it, Edward's okay. cave? It is not but an emergency it's... brake. It's just someone has braked sharply in front of me and no, I have just I matched he, their braking. Honestly, I can't see it, but I think he rides at the berm of so many no, cars. I do not. You do? I do not, thank you very much. But I'm like, oh my God! Every time he emergency brakes, he's like three times an it's hour. It's not an emergency brake. And it's then literally I'm like, what's just, happened? We just go down. What's happened? And he's like, can you just stop reacting? Uh, yeah, but the worst thing is sometimes like you like, so... you're like ah! and then you like whack me. And, and then I'm like, holy crap. Like you oh, can't slap me done. while I'm driving. <laughs> Do you it's want a to reflex, cause an accident? Okay, it's a reflex. Which is oh slowed down for a traffic light. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, I'm obsessed. That is so I'm funny. obsessed with like backseat driving as yeah, a blind person. Yeah, like, like, oh, do gosh. you guys do it? Do you Absolutely. have a car? Well, well, so we did when when we were up in Yorkshire. You had to yeah, car, you? yeah. But, so we we drove around a lot together at the time. Um, hmm. And Re- Reese's thing is he likes to like put on really really loud music. And then try and tell me like elaborate stories. And when I'm concentrating because I'm on a round, I goes, yeah, yeah, so, so, stop pressing all the buttons. Like, so Will you, like, stop this. This is horrifying. And I get really upset and go through like red lights. Like, oh, God, oh. this is why I don't drive in London. Okay, this is why. <laughs> Oh gosh! It's... This is me. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, he's like, I'm just... he can't even tell me that he's turning because he's turning and obviously thinking about it. But I'm like, yeah. blah 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 yeah. blah. Yeah, you're chatting at me, and I'm like silent because like we're like we drive in London so often, and like I've got really confident at it, but like I'm like yeah. trying to barge a taxi Probably out the way. Probably because of me though. And then you're like, da, 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 da. Ali, Ali, why are you not replying? What's going on? Yes. <laughs> But can what? I just say, there's a lot of suspense in my life and I have to basically mm. wait for the punchline so yeah. for him to do whatever the thing is that he's doing. And then I'm like, hello. And then he tells yes. me and it's just really disappointing. Yeah. No, that's so real. <laughs> that's, you need to create some drama. Every, you know? Also, Reese's toxic trait is he'll go, yeah, today at work this happened. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, give me a second to breathe. Take a breath in and reply. Hello? What? what? Uh, what we seem to be learning today, Lucy, is that we are quite unreasonable people. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I think we are. I actually uh, do. I think I, we quite are. It's really reminded me, actually, of like, what happens is I will, like, me and Lucy will be on the phone in the car, like, as in, like, on the drive, and not, like, on the phone while driving does that. But, like, sure, yeah. Don't like, I end, that. I'm like, Lucy, I'm home now. I end the call, and then I go into the house, and then I open the door. She's like, hello! Who is it? I'm like, I'm li- I literally just told you. <laughs> Can I just say, uh, usually it takes you about 17 hours to get out of the car because you're so slow. So <laughs> anyway, it's fine. Right. I, I absolutely love that. I feel like we answered the oh dilemma. Did yes. we basically me, just I communicate? Think- yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. Talk, yeah. and stop being so awkward even when they've said it's okay. Like that's yeah. annoying. And and yeah. also, um, if you're worried about going to a bookstore, like there's lots of other places to go. Um, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> exactly. Um, Suggest some more ideas. Yeah. Go, like yeah, that. go and have a drink. Go and have some food. You know. Yeah. Have a bevy. Yeah. Get a bit tipsy. I love doing that. Exactly. <laughs> People get a lot less awkward when they're drunk. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Just to, to sum it up, like what happened was they went to a restaurant. There wasn't a braille menu. He got annoyed at her, like panicking about it a little bit. But then mm. they just kind of like well, because communicated. To panic about. They communicated. 
communicated a little bit. They had a great time for six hours and they stayed all the way like through the night and then they had a great time. Oh, so oh, that finally when they... There's a happy ending. Oh, happy That's ending. Yeah. Well, they communicated like in the end. Perfect. And now she wants to know if she can get an Oculus Quest to play with him. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the end what's, of it. What's an Oculus, what's an Oculus Quest? I think it's, it's, it's like a VR a, headset. Isn't it a VR headset that like simulates stuff? So maybe uh, she's... Well, I think maybe she's thinking I mean, he's got vision enough to like see things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if he has a quest. I mean, oh, maybe ask him instead of Reddit. Yeah, please ask him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Re- Reddit, yeah I was Reddit, Reddit say. Reddit yeah. Yeah. We don't know whether he can play an Oculus exactly. Quest. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Even just go. Don't... Hey, I've got this like, Oculus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't play one, so. <laughs> also, that is an oh, well. expensive gamble as well. I'd say. Yeah. Just buying yeah. an Oculus. Yeah. 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 Um, I think she might have it already, which makes oh. it even easier. Oh, God. Okay. On Braille menus, I always really yes. panic when I get stuff in Braille because um, I can read Braille like a bit. So I can I can read it for kind of, um, you know, tablet packets or like playing Scrabble, do you know what I mean? Or like playing cards. Mm. Um, yeah. But I cannot read it in like long form. So when they like Literally. give me the massive menu in a restaurant or like the other day on the airplane, they gave me the safety card and they were like really expectantly like, go on, read it in front <laughs> yeah. of me. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I That's you know it. what I'm. The, I'm the same. I'm like I'm a note reader, but if they give me, a, I can read it, but it would take me yeah. hours. It takes forever, mm. and you're like going hours. through it slowly, and then you're All like, right. yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine how long you'd be there for in a restaurant though if you read the entire oh, book literally. Literally. front to back? <laughs> it, it's got to the place where sometimes if it's a long thing in Braille, like a card, Lucy will hand it to me because I can sight read yeah, Braille. Yeah, you can. And <laughs> she's like, really? what does this say, that Ollie? We kind of learned Braille to get so I am properly foiled by the double sided Braille that like yeah, HSBC is. sent over. Yeah, it's, it, doesn't, oh, that yeah is. it doesn't work. No, that, it just yeah, makes me malfunction. He can't see it. Whereas I think you're, that's a me thing that to read. I love them. it. I love it. You're so right there about just passing over the menu. Like I get so lazy with so many things where I'm just yeah, like, go on, so, use your eyes. Like, yeah, yeah, literally. Just don't fall. Just don't fall. Read me. the entire menu to me, <laughs> and I'll read the whole thing, and he'll be like, "I'm sorry, what was that pizza margarita again? Explain exactly what it is." Pizza margarita. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is that is Basil, me. tomato, mozzarella. No, you've you've got me bang on there. I am. I am. Oh, I love that. that. Is that your order? I'm a mark too. I love it. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> bland, bland and proud, mate. Bland oh, yeah, come exactly. on, spice up your life, guys. <laughs> I love it. I love that. That is so mean, you too. Oh. Do you end up like reading the menu like your M M&M and M as well, Sophie? Yeah, he does like, it so like, quick. And there's a yes. and it's just going through. <laughs> bust, I, bust I also filter out the ones I know you won't like. Oh, I'm like, I'm gonna read that out. Yeah. Really oh my gosh, Lucy! Oh my god, I hate goats. Literally, Not if it doesn't come from a cow, <laughs> Lucy hates it. No, 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 Lucy, I don't hate a, I don't hate a goat, but I hate things from goats. <laughs> it's definitely in your. <laughs> it's definitely in your mind, though, because like Lucy will happily eat a carbonara with pecorino, pecorino in it, which comes from a sheep. No, I won't. And then as soon as yeah. like he tells me, I tell her. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> it, t- it tastes like farmyards. I hate no, it. No, I do it get that. Like I do get that. I mean, yeah. for me, like, I'm I'm big on I'm big on texture. Like, texture really puts me off. Yeah. I'm a, you know, it's, uh, yeah. Honestly, That's... guys, we would talk to you for hours, but I think we're going to say bye to our should. listeners. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. Do it. Thank you so much, Reese and Soph. We absolutely Honestly, adored speaking to you, time. and I don't oh, think you can get rid, so rid of us now. Honestly, it's been so much fun. <laughs> and, thank and, and you so much. And we love you guys, and thank you for having us on. <laughs> thank you so much. Right. Ah, bye. bye. Catch you soon, guys.